story here. Washington Mutual putting itself up for sale with potential bidders, including J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo. That stock, by the way, folks, is bid slightly higher. It's fluctuating right now. It closed. WAMU closed at 201. And here are the potential bidders. HSBC, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wayne. Uh, again, here comes the free market. But what happens to Washington Mutual? Well, I think one of these has to happen. But listen, TPG, the, the so-called Texas Pacific Group, which was its name before they said, you know, the analog, uh, has got money in Washington Mutual at a much higher price. When they did the first round to help right. Washington Mutual, they came in with a lot of money. They're going to take a heck Eight of a Eight dollars and seventy-five cents yeah, each is what they Yeah, and they are, they're going to, so they're taking a, a beating right now. They've, they are going to do everything they can to help this situation. Pat Dorsey, J.P. Morgan in talks with Wachovia. That, again, not totally shocking, but you knew he, John Mack was working it all day long. Morgan Stanley and talks with Wachovia. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Mor Morgan Stanley. Okay. It, the news is coming fast and furious. Just check it. Um, you know, they, I mean, it's not terribly surprising simply because it really looks like the age of the standalone investment bank, frankly, may be dead. That being a 30x levered hedge fund with unsustainable, you know, you know, not sources of capital that could dry up when the market loses confidence, you know, that just business model doesn't work anymore. So they're all searching for stable deposit funding, and that's what they would get in Wachovia. They would also get a giant pile of toxic mortgages from Golden West, but that may be the lesser of a few different evils right now. The big question, though, right now, if either of these purchases takes place, is that these banks have to write down immediately the value of those bad loans and take a hit to already weak balance sheets Oof. unless they can close the deal by December 15th, or, which would be right. really, really hard. Or unless the market to market rule changes at all. Again, there, there, there are all sorts of Possible. options. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pat. Oh, that that is possible that that could that rule yeah. could get waived, um, yeah. you know, or, or or you could just work really hard right. and well, get it done by December 15th. <laughs> Certainly, you've got regular who was very happy today because gold was up 11 percent. You probably uh, bought some more even up 11 percent. But you suggested a while ago that WAMU was going to be uh, a candidate for another government bailout. It appears that that's not happening, at least not yet. Well, we don't know if any of these companies are actually going to buy them. I would strongly suggest against buying the company. I think they have more liabilities than they have assets. If anybody does acquire them, that's another good candidate to short. But I think it's interesting that some of the people who are considering buying Washington Mutual are themselves in danger of a bankruptcy. So in some cases, they're probably going to buy them for stock. So what difference does it make? If you're paying stock that's going to be worthless, it doesn't really matter. Let me just mention Morgan Stanley is moving higher than its close. The close was $21.75. It's now at 23 and change, Jonas. So Morgan Stanley quickly cobbling, or at least it appears, and the deal still could fall through, but having conversations with Wachovia. I don't think there is a solution for WAMU that doesn't involve some sort of government help because, like I said about Lehman a few weeks ago, it is technically worthless. It might be worth something in acquisition because you get in depositor bases, which is a good point. If the assets have to be liquidated, they are worth less than the debt, essentially. Well, what and about somebody this potential deal? There is no bank that, in their right mind that would take on a negative, it's an uneconomic purchase without some stopgap, without somebody figuring out a way to not have to sell the assets of that bank, because that will drive them down Wayne, to a point where it's uneconomic. Wayne, well, 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 the, the problem with Wachovia started long ago, bad management, horrible. Just made a huge mistake when they bought that uh, California thing for $28 billion or whatever it was, and it wasn't worth it. It's a disaster. There are going to be multiple lawsuits out there of, uh, of class action lawsuits and everything. The best thing they could probably do is get together with Morgan Stanley. The only thing that scares me about this, the market is telling me Morgan Stanley took a huge hit. It's off, what, 30, 40 percent? Even though it's up in, in after. Yes. That's, uh, you know, and John Mack is a North, he went to school in North Carolina, so, and Wachovia is located, as you well know, in Charlotte, North Carolina. There's some connection there. They will probably make some kind of a deal, whether it's good or bad. I can't tell. When I look at those balance sheets, they both scare me. Peter, uh, you know, here we are again. The free market, at least, is working on this end of it if these deals go through. Well, because I mean, the problem is you've got troubled companies trying to get together. If you take two in companies that are in trouble and they merge, it doesn't solve now, any how problems. How does that help anything? But remember, this is... This wasn't created by the free market. All this excess leverage is there because of the government. It's there because of the Fed. They did this. They infected us with this disease. The fact that all these companies are now How dying. How did they make Wells Fargo make stupid home equity loans? They, what they did is they provided Wells I Fargo mean, Wal Wal and all me. these companies with free money. And they let them go out and, and leverage it up. 
And it's like I use the analogy, if you go, if a kindergarten school teacher leaves the classroom and passes out pixie sticks and po soda pop and then leaves the classroom and she comes back and the, and the kindergartners have wrecked the place, who do you blame? Hey, Robert, uh, in, in doing research on what's happening with WAMU and everything, any word at all whether the government might absorb in some way, whether it's the Federal Reserve Board, which of course is as of yet a private entity, or the federal government will take some of that bad debt? I have not seen, seen anything along those lines. All I've seen right now is we are seeing the stocks jumping up, but of course we all saw that with Morgan Stanley last night too. So clearly uh, the market likes the idea of some of these players getting together, whether or not they are going to have some of the debt taken away mm -hmm. from them, that still remains to be seen, or possibly you know having uh, their deposits getting uh, the Fed to pay interest on them. We've seen heard some people talking about that as one possible move to boost liquidity for the financials here, but uh, nothing yet about uh, you know absolving them or moving the debt off their balance sheets. Pat, if the government doesn't take any of the bad debt off its balance sheets, is it still worth money, Washington Mutual? Absolutely. Yeah, Wells, J.P. Morgan, and HSBC all have the balance sheets to do this deal. It's a valuable branch network. You know, I don't have a look inside their loan book. One would assume <coughs> Jamie Dimon would have a look inside it. He was smart <coughs> in sidestepping this mess starting in late 06. And there but is it's not, it's not possible that the But it's not properly. possible that the negatives that they hold in their books outweigh the positives? Uh, they generate about $8 billion a year off their deposit base alone. If there is a run on that deposit base, and it has dwindled in the past couple of weeks as people have, you know, the fear has sort of taken over, that is the big risk here. But absent that happening, there is positive value here, especially to a better management team, and you couldn't have had a worse management team than Kerry Killen. But Pat, yeah, Morningstar had high star ratings on AIG, Lehman, all these companies, because they had positive value too a few weeks ago, and then just quickly evaporates when you have to try to sell this stuff, or there's a run on these assets. How come that, that positive value won't just quickly vanish for a, for a WAMU? Because a mortgage made to a uh, you know, lender who's not going to pay you back is a very different animal than a CDS. Peter? But remember, you know, talking about all their depositors, I mean, a lot of their depositors now are upside down on their mortgages. A lot of them are about to be unemployed. They have credit card debt. I mean, who knows how long those deposits are going to be there? Well, you can't say that, Peter. I mean, the people have certain bank accounts in there, and the money is good, at least for many of them. Well, I mean, but they might need it. They might need it to pay their mortgage or to pay their rent. No, because the they deposits don't have the... will stay there because the government has FDIC insurance. Make no mistake, yeah. if we didn't have that, people would be lined up at WAMU right Wayne now. Lester. But they shouldn't no, take no, it. No, no, I, I agree with what Jonah said, and, and I, th I think you have to come back to the fact that we've got to somehow get through the liquidity part of this as opposed to the part that has to do with capital. Well, you had the answer. A bank holiday. A market holiday. That, that is, that is Just tell Wall Street to take a month off. By the way, that's what happened in the Depression. You could. You could say, hey, we're going to, nobody can go to the bank, nobody can go to yeah. these places, we're going to shut it down for a week, or we could shut down the markets so for a week. now we're just going to print no money and, and, and let you pretend that it has yes. any value when you yeah. get it back. Yeah. Don't yeah. take any that solace in FDIC. That, that's that is drastic, disturbing. but it could no, happen. Nobody's All right, that's a